Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome to another edition of Rave Diaries and Tower Block Tales with yours truly, Uncle Dugs. Uh, thank you to everyone that's been watching all the other episodes and uh, run, come, follow uh, Uncle Doug's video diary that I've been doing and subscribing and commenting and, and all of that. Thank you. Honestly, you lot are wicked. But on with the show, we must go. So what we got now? We've got this. Know what that is? Do you even know what that is? That is a one away. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about this. Is it a flyer? Is it a flyer? Or is it a record? Well, it's in fact both. As far as I know, this is the only, it's the only one I've ever seen. I stand to be corrected. I'm sure someone will say in the comments below if I'm wrong. But I think this is the only flyer with a record in it that has ever come out. I, like I say, I don't know of another one. Maybe you do. If you do, let me know. But uh, the flyer is for a night called 1992. As you can see there, I'll put a little freeze up at the end. I won't keep doing that. I'll put a little photo up at the end. That was held in Braintree in Essex in uh, 1992. Wax Promotions. And uh, I never actually, I didn't go to this night, to be honest. In fact, it was a series of nights. There's four on this flyer, and I don't remember seeing another flyer for it. There definitely wasn't another one with a record in it, I remember. So maybe it only lasted for um, four weeks. Maybe it lasted longer. Again, if you've got any more info, put it in the comments underneath so we can all learn a bit. Um, but basically, it was a place called the Embassy Arena. I'll read you just the top bit, and then like I said, I'll put a picture up. You can have a look yourself. It said, the Essex club scene has put up with temporary measures too long. So now it's time to feel it as we see it, bringing to you the UK's finest house specialists, picked for their style, not just their names, and our visual interpretation of the future. This is 1992. And then you've got Randall and Rat Pack and a bag of others there. But the Prodigy are actually doing a PA there. And the reason I mention that is because the Prodigy come from Braintree um, in Essex. So I'm assuming that this was either something to do with them or good friends of theirs. And the reason I think it might have been something to do with them is because doing something like this, even in 1992, was not cheap. To put a record in a flyer and literally give them away, which they did in record shops, like normal flyers, that's a lot of outlay. So maybe the Prodigy lads were involved, maybe not. Back to the story. So I remember going into uh, Boogie Times, I've got this flyer from, and I looked on the side, you know, where all the flyers used to be in the sh record shops. And um, there was just a big stack of these. These Obviously, they looked a different to the other flyers. and The stack was a lot higher, I remember. I remember, it's so mad. Because it's such a unique flyer, I even remember picking this flyer up. And I took one off the, I wish I picked up more now, I took one off the top of the stack and I looked at it and sort of at first didn't probably realise it was even a record until I saw that bit, you know, like that. And then I would have pulled that out and it was an actual record in there. The record is uh, Wax Recording Stamina. Um, if I had a turntable, which I haven't, surprisingly, uh, I would play it for you. But... Um, yeah, as far as I know, like I say, this was the only one in existence that ever happened. A flyer with a with a flipping record in it. A seven inch floppy disc. And for the youngsters watching out there, I know you all know what records are because they're back in fashion again. But back in the day, like you would get things like this as well. So there were magazines in the, in the sort of 70s, 80s and I guess maybe early 90s as well, like looking, smash hits. And for promotional reasons, sometimes record companies... They may have a new act or an established act and they want to push it somewhere, but they would put these on the front of magazines. So that would be stuck to the front of a magazine. But this, this was in our world. So whoever you are, Wax Promotions, big up yourself. You definitely deserve a story on Rave Diaries and Tower Block Towers, 100%. Because uh, like I say, this this really is something special. It's something unique. Um, I don't even know, I, I'm not saying I'm the only one in the world with one, but it's not something that you see about anyway these were very very limited so i'm very fortunate to have one so yeah that is this episode wrapped up again if you've got any comments any any information you can add to the story on any of the any of the videos that i put up if you can add to the story we can all piece them together better between us so yeah 1992 wax promotions braintree essex at the embassy arena i'll put the pictures up so you can read it but yeah if you was there big up yourself if you weren't now Big up yourself same way. And if you can add some more info, please do. Uh, right, that's it for this episode. We'll be back again with another one. I'm going to record a few of these on the trot today. So we're going to get a few of them uh, up and running for you all. So yeah, not sure what's coming next. But one more time, 
Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for being part of the Rave Diaries and Sad Block Tales gang, yeah? I will see you soon. Peace.